Unless it's anybody, baby. I want your body, baby. I keep them choppers, baby. I keep a rocket, baby. Unless it's anybody, baby. <laughs> Producer. I've been fucking with music like since I was like 11. Like I got FL Studio. I bought it actually, no pirate shit. And uh, my dad bought it for me. I was making Jersey music though, on some corny shit, like club music and shit. But now um, I heard Future, like on some weird. Like I just discovered Future in Jersey, and then fucking. 11 years, let me see. Yeah, I started making trap music off that, from that, as soon as I met Future. As soon as I was introduced to Future, I started trap music. So you from Jersey? I'm from New Jersey, North New Jersey. Okay, so how long you been here? Like, three, four years? Four years. Four years. So, like, when you grew up, what kind of music, like, grew up, did you listen to growing up? Or, um, like, was played around you, I guess, like, your parents played? Parents, all R&B. Uh, R. Kelly, Jagged Edge, Avant, fucking, let me see, around that, like Usher type shit, like slow, slow jams and shit, that was all I played. Yeah. And did you ever like play any instruments like growing up? Oh yeah, I played violin, I played piano, uh, the drums, the trumpet, all by ear, basically, so, since I was like third grade. I was always in like the bands, and not the band, but like little after school activity type, violin type shit. Okay. Mm. So like when you first started producing, like how long did it take you to get a like an artist on your one of your beats? To be honest, bro, I just started like selling music like 2016, like January 1st, 2016. And um, like probably for a nigga to get on and hop on the shit, probably like four months after that. That's when I started to sell music, like, I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna do. But right. before that, I was just fucking around. So, like, four months. He was the first, uh, Hot Boy Scully was the first nigga on my shit, though. He, he the one who started that shit. He, he was the first nigga to hop on all my shit. Yeah. So, what are some of your credits that people may not know, like, that you have? Um, TC Gambino, Hot Boy Scully, of course, Duop Kane, Lil Wop, um, I got some shit with fucking. I got a whole list on my phone of the fucking crazy shit. Uh, Hundo, No Gum Hundo, Slime Cito. Um, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna look at my phone for that shit. To be honest, I might take a sneak. Hot Boy Scully, Doo Wop Kane, Lil Wop, fucking Skipper the Flipper, TC Gambino, Money Man, uh, Quest Self Paid, um, No Gum Hundo, Lil Boom. SP Cash, Money Moot, uh, Slime Cito, and Bally. Cool America. Yeah, that's like a few. We got some shit that's, that's shit that's out. We got shit that's in the works with other niggas, but, yeah. So what makes uh, your sound, like, unique? Um, I think it's my percussion and my melodies. Percussion and melodies, what I use, like, little hi-hats, little in the between sounds type shit. That's what I, that's what really stamps my shit. You feel me? Yeah. And then like 
I, I use a lot of piano on my shit. Like a lot of niggas, be, I be trying to make my shit sound more weird, but I stick to my piano. I be playing this shit, so. More the pianos and percussion, definitely. Definitely, that's what we going crazy. So, um, who is your favorite artist to work with so far? Mm. Hot Boy Scully. Gotta be, just because the chemistry there. And uh, my nigga Gambino, those are two favorite artists. But mainly Hot Boy Scully though. So, um, have you heard of TK? I have, I have heard of TK. So like, have cool. you heard of like the uh, situation? Is uh, the on the run shit? Yeah. 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 And then like he got locked up and all that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Say cheese and shit. Yeah. yeah. So like, what do you think about that? Like, he called. I feel like it's crazy how he had to get jammed up just for niggas. That, you feel me? Put him on. But I mean, how you get on? That's how you get on. I hope he get out so he could really, you know, yeah. he could go crazy and shit. But if he really locked forever, how they saying he? Man, I feel bad, bro. I free that man for real. That nigga take it, he be going crazy. That nigga walk. But yeah, it's, it's crazy how he had to, niggas had to see his whole life be fucked up for him, his music to get exposure. That nigga right. said he been rapping for like two years. I was like, oh shit. But, hey. right. I fuck with him now. So, um, how do you feel about like the scene here in Atlanta, the music the scene, scene here? Like if everybody come together type, like what you mean? Like how everybody, the networking, like the groups, yeah. you know how like it's clicks or whatever. Oh, I think everybody know everybody. I think you always one person away from knowing everybody. So I think it's dope. Like, yeah, you'll know this nigga, you'll fuck with this nigga, he know like this nigga. And then it's, I think everybody for the most part show love. And they really no hate and shit. Like in Jersey, the music scene in Jersey and here is like, it's two separate niggas don't show love and shit up there. But niggas show love down here, niggas, everybody together, so. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. It's faster. Like, the music spreading, mm-hmm. the way it sh- everything happens, like, it's like the music on crack. Like, you, you can get on today. You can, <laughs> that ass, you can get on, you can fucking make a song, niggas, it's right, niggas hear it, Snapchat, and your shit on. Now you out here doing features and shit, like, selling out shows. So it's the music. I'm fucking with it. I fuck with it, definitely. So, like, can you see the difference between, like, music in the city and then, like, the north side? Um, like, niggas that make music on the north side? Yeah. Uh, to be, I'm going to keep it six million with you, bro. I really don't know what niggas on Gwinnett make music, bro. Like, I don't know who stay there that make music. You feel me? They probably yeah. from there. But I, besides Migos, I mean, I don't really, nah. The only sound I really hear is, like. I mean, you got to skip them. That's Northside. Yeah. Swear to God, I didn't. I'm, That's the founder of Northside. That's Mister Northside. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I mean, I'm not like I, I beat it. Oh yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But I'm not. That's not my roots. Like, oh, yeah, you feel, feel you me? Feel so I, I can't even really be like, oh yeah, like the North. I don't even be saying the North and shit. Like, yeah. But I fuck with Gwinnett. Like, yeah. That's not my. That's not my 100 percent scene. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I can't really tell the difference. I just I put Atlanta in a big ass group. Now Atlanta, I separated by the state. Florida got their own shit. Cali got their own shit. You feel me? Right. Texas got their shit. Baby, don't know what it is. This shit I'm smoking destroyed, baby. I never seen it by the baby.